Hello, beautiful people of the YouTube. I am coming to you today with an unboxing video. Unfortunately, I was going to try and do a comparison video of FabFitFun and this subscription box, but unfortunately, little FabFitFun happens to be MIA right now. I have never had this happen, at least with FedEx shipping before, but I have, it has been over a week since I basically got the notification that a shipping label was ship was placed for my FabFitFun order and no movement whatsoever. I don't know if FabFitFun is secretly using that Pewee Bowie whatever and they're just not telling us and they're just giving us the FedEx information. I don't know, but never fed never have had this problem with FedEx before. So just know I'm a little disappointed. But the box so other subscription box I was going to compare it with I don't want to show you the surprise yet is Curator. Now this subscription box is Lux. Curator used to be called um, the Rachel Zoe box um, and this is a luxury brand subscription box, um, but you still have the same bells and whistles like FabFitFun has, where you basically can customize a few things. Um, there's skincare, there's makeup, there's accessories, there's clothing items sometimes. Um, and this is just, uh, and they also have a shop too. Rachel Zoe has a shop that you can shop for like discounted luxury brand items. I have looked through there and ogled a few things, wished I was a little bit richer or maybe a sugar baby of a wealthy businessman, but that's not the case, so... I just look at the items, wish that I could purchase them, and move on. Um, but I do tend to, once in a blue moon, get this subscription box. Um, it is $125 now. It used to be $100 bucks, as with inflation, so everything has gone up in price. Um, but I will say that this one is very easy to cancel um, and resubscribe. I've canceled and resubscribed a handful of times now. Um, and I also like that because it is a very large chunk of money and you want to know what you're getting for that amount of money. Um, they do estimate that every box has roughly $500 plus value in the box. Um, I, this time, because I haven't gotten it in a while, uh, did get a free gift if I re-signed up again. So, you know, note to the wise, if you really like this subscription box and you subscribe and you're like, I don't like the next season, cancel, let it simmer a little bit and see if you'll get a little extra offers to re-sign up again. Um, also, um, this does take a long time to ship. I placed my order and got billed in August and, or was it September? I want to say it was August and finally was told that 
in October they were going to start shipping out. I didn't get this until Wednesday of this past week, so beginning of November. Um, and I will say to anyone who is interested in the fall curator box, unfortunately they've already started the winter curator box. Um, and you can go to the website right now and see if you would like that one. I did not really like the items that were offered in that one. Um, nothing really sparked me wanting to spend that kind of money again to get those items, so I canceled. Um, but maybe you might be interested in any of those items. They have a lovely silk robe in there and some nice earrings So, and a clutch purse. I'm not big on a clutch type situation, but um, yes, I just didn't really, nothing really looked very interesting to me, so I skipped out on the winter one. Um, I will say I have gone on the shop, her buying website, where you can shop for items. They do have previous subscription boxes, though I believe they're roughly like $160 for previous boxes if you want to get that collection. Um, Maybe you f feel that the items in this box is a value to paying that much. So just know that you can go into the shop. You can purchase previous boxes. Um, I think it's like an additional $10 if you just want to shop her website and get a discount on the luxury brand items. So let us open the box. Like I said, I got a special extra item, which made me super happy Ooh. spending the money. And this is what you are greeted with. She does give a card with all of the items on the back with the values, which is also nice. Um, as always, disclaimer, I did open this up already just to make sure nothing is damaged or broken. That is just me. Um, I do that every time now. I Viewer beware, fool me once, but never fool me twice. So, we open this up. And like I said, I did open a few items just to make sure everything was okay. And this subscription for $125, you get five items. So I break that down as each item has to have roughly the value of $25 in each item to me to be worth the box. Um, usually some items are not even $25 worth in full value. But definitely other items, if I would go to a store and see that one item, I'd go, you know what, yeah, I'd pay like $30, $40, $50. Um, that lovely little hat poking out right up there, trust me, I would pay $50 for that if I saw another one of those in the stores. Um, I love that hat. I got that in the winter curator box like circa 21 awesome awesome hat it was valued at four hundred dollars oh my god but i love it get compliments all the time so so the first item i'll take out is doo -doo -doo -doo, the bonus item um, this was offered to me if I resubscribe to the box and when I saw the value of this item being a hundred dollars 
I was like, oh, so I get six items for $125. So that's like uh, $20 an item. Yeah, I can jive with that. And this item definitely will go with the hero item in the box that you will see later. And this is the Rationale the light cream and like I said this is a moisturizer that basically you put on your face neck decolletage back of hands each morning so this is more of a morning cream and which it just means You can still use this at nighttime. It's just a lighter version than a nighttime cream. Um, which, trust me, $100, I am going to be using this day and night. <laughs> um, and this is 1.7 fluid ounces. And I will open it up. And oop, you do get a little spatula. So, I mean, you know, that's the lug. And this is what the jar looks like. It is glass. I even want to say the lid is like metal. So, and it is very heavy. So, very nice product to have as a bonus item. I will say the bonus item this time around is a handheld steamer, which... If one of the winter items would have caught my eye, I probably would have just got it just to get the steamer, but it wasn't. So, next is what came in our box. So, I will grab my card up, and you can even like type in the little coat, take a picture of the coat at the bottom, and they will describe. The items to you in depth for that. So first item is from Mellow Cosmetics and it is in the shade Tahini and this is a lip gloss valued at $16. So lip gloss for $16 I mean it is a lip gloss, nothing super, super fancy. It's like a coppery, looks like metallic. Um, a nice doe foot. And just a swash of color, and there is some uh, like gold flakes in there. I don't know if catch the gold flakes with the light but doesn't really have a smell to it so I mean an average $16 lip gloss to give you a little flush of color for fall it definitely has like a like reddish orangey hue to it so no smell so next up is one of our choice items now like I said with the curator box you can customize a little bit usually a style or a color um, this was what style of earring we wanted and this came in like plastic bag after plastic bag and then they actually like this is this is a little bougie but you get a little tiny jewelry bag to go with your earrings now you could have picked either the sparkling hoops or the chain drop earrings and I'm gonna set these 
on the 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 pouch and gently show them to you uh, that way. Let me hold them like that. So that's what they look like. They have some rhinestones, crystals in there, and they just looked so interesting to me. Like, I do not have chain link earrings, and they're delicately enough that they're not super hanging down. Um, the hoops looked very lovely, but where I work, it is just not feasible to... Can you seal them in the pouch? To wear bigger hoops. Um, the hoops did call, uh, the retail value was $108. Excuse me. And the chain drop earrings were $86. So, I mean, the chain drop earrings, even though they were like 20 bucks less, I don't know they just looked interesting to me like I am sort of excited and if you guys don't mind like pausing for one second I did put these in the pouch but I don't know I feel like maybe trying them on gotta try them on and they're more of a yellow brassy gold like not a bright gold but that is what they look like on. They are super light. Um, which I think with higher end jewelry you expect them to be heavier. But because they're made with more precious metals, they're not. They actually are very light. So, yeah, I, I really like those. Those definitely elongate the neck a little bit and everything and add interest. I do have some chain link jewelry now so I'm not a gold girl per se. I'm more of a silver girl but the sparkliness is just to die for. Um, so yeah that is the next item and next up we have something from Vizmaya, Vizmaya, Maya, and it is a scarf. Now, I loved how Rachel Zoe styled this scarf. I think this scarf is gorgeous. It's very silky, feels so soft. And this is the pattern. Woohoo! A very fall type scarf. Um, they sh uh, she showed it, and this is valued at thirty two dollars. It's called the Rhapsody scarf, um, but she had it as like. Tying it off to the side. Oh, this is so nice and silky. Oh, like she just had it like real wrapped up. Off to the side like that. Or you could wear it in your hair. Ugh. I love wearing scarves in my ponytail. Um, so you can wear it in your hair or you can do one more thing with this scarf. You can wear it around your wrist too. They also showed one model doing that. But with this scarf, with our next item, you can put it on. And this is the uh, Kayla plus Ava Miranda crossbody purse. 
Now this was our other choice item. You could have either gotten this in black, which I got it in black, or cognac, which is like a brown color. I was torn about getting it in the brown. I haven't gotten a brown purse in a long time, but that's what it looks like. You can basically hold it as a hand purse. It's got enough room for, let's say, just my phone and my wallet, and I am fine with that. But you basically tie your scarf around. I still have the tag on the scarf. You guys get the idea. And then you just wear that on there. It's a crossbody, so you just hook on the chains to the side and you wear that as a crossbody. Oh, it's so cute. So cute. Stylist 10 million different ways. 10 million different ways. You feeling a little chilly? Take it off your purse, put it around your neck. Love it. Um, this is valued at. $80. It's reasonably priced for a small crossbody bag. And like I said, I would definitely pay $25, if not $30, for this nice faux leather bag. I think that's another thing. If it was real leather, yes, it would be more expensive, but you know, save the animals. And last but not least is our hero item. And when you hear how much this little baby is, well, you're gonna freak out. So, this is a serum by Dr. Barbara Sturm. And Miss Sturm comes from Germany. This is made in Germany, and this is a hyaluronic serum with molecular cosmetics this is 1.01 fluid ounces and this lovely baby which is full size is valued at three hundred and twenty dollars yes you heard me right $320 for this completely sealed serum for your face. Um, this paid for the box times two. Um, would I ever pay even a hundred dollars for a face serum? No. Will I get a kick out of trying a three hundred dollar and twenty three twenty just over three hundred dollar face serum? Uh yes and thank you. I hope this like makes me look like a baby's bottom and smooth and twenty years old again. But um yeah. There's no real, like, instructions. It talks about the ingredients in the product, and that is basically it. So, I mean, wow. Would I pay $25 for this? Yeah, I would. For uh, basically a $320 serum, yeah, I'll pay $25 bucks for this. I pay $125 uh, for the box and get this, and then everything else is free. <laughs> so, that's why I got this box. Like I said, if you think $160 is a good value for something like this coming in your box, just saying. But that is everything in the fall curator box. I 
am intrigued and excited to try this serum with my bonus free $100 face cream. I'm okay with a lip gloss. I mean, it is a lip gloss after all. I can throw it in my new crossbody uh, purse that I am so excited to finally have a new one and stick a silky, soft, beautiful fall scarf around my neck on the purse. And of course, the beautiful chain link earrings to match everything. Everything was coherent. I enjoyed everything. Let me know down below, would you pay that amount of money for a face serum or would you just be happy getting a subscription box for less the price? Comment down below. I want everyone to have a wonderful, enjoyable day. Please stay safe, stay healthy, um, and plus enjoy the holidays with family and friends because we need a little spirit and cheer every once in a while. Everyone, I will see y'all later. Bye!